friends welcome to my channel i want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel and have seen my videos as usual my channel is about sharing information on life in canada immigrating to canada and anything useful about canada and today i will be talking about um, minimum wage and surviving on min minimum wage in Ontario. I'll be using Ontario as an example so that anybody who plans to land in Ontario should um, know what to expect on surviving on minimum wage and I'll also be doing the same thing for each of the cities that people plan to live in when they eventually come to Canada. The minimum wage in Canada is not like what we have back in our home country where almost all the states pay the same amount for minimum wage. The minimum wage in Canada is different because it's the province that determines how much the minimum wage should be and how much a worker should earn as per minimum wage. So the province with the highest minimum wage is um, Alberta and Alberta's minimum wage is $15 per hour. The minimum wage in British Columbia is $13.85 for general workers and then for those who are working in um, let's say where they sell liquor the minimum wage is $12.70. The minimum wage for Saskatchewan is $11.06 and that's the lowest in Canada. And then the minimum wage for Manitoba is $11.35. But in, as from October, the minimum wage will move, will, um, uh, 25 cents will be added to the minimum wage and it will become $11.65. Then the minimum wage for Ontario is $14. That's for general workers and people who serve liquor, it's $12.20. And then for students under 18, it's $13.35. Then the minimum wage for Quebec is $12.50. The minimum wage for New Brunswick is $11.50. The minimum wage for Nova Scotia is $11.55. And Prince Edward Island, $12.25 Newfoundland and Labrador $11.40 Yukon Territories $12.71 uh, Northwest Territories $13.46 Nunavut $13 Yeah, Nunavut is $13 for minimum wage So now I'll be talking about surviving on minimum wage and I'm using Ontario as an example So. The minimum wage in Ontario is $14 and for any new immigrant that comes, a lot of new immigrants do not like to, you know, um, spend their hard-earned money or the proof of funds. So they try as much as possible to get a job as soon as they land. And when they are trying to look for a job in their chosen career and it's difficult in getting it, the next thing to fall back on is to pick up any job and picking up any job means you're picking up a job that you will end up being paid minimum wage so i'll be using ontario as um, an example uh, so that people could understand what they can expect when they land in ontario most people when they come they hope to get a job in their career or in their chosen field but um, there are lots of people who unfortunately cannot get into their career so they end up um, getting jobs in any field and then they are earning minimum wage so for somebody um, who is going to land in Ontario and uh, will be earning minimum wage. The minimum wage is $14 per hour. If you multiply that um, for the number of weeks the person will work, let's say for a year, I'll use a year as a benchmark to estimate what the person should be earning per annum. So the person should be earning annually $26,880. So the question is, can a new immigrant with a family of four persons, two adults, two kids, can this person survive on a minimum wage of $26,880 per annum? And uh, this $26,880, remember, is the gross amount. The net, the deductions have not taken place yet. So I'm going to break it down further. For $26,880, what the person will be getting monthly is $2,240 monthly as gross income. If I take out the deductions monthly, the federal tax monthly is $149.51. The provincial tax monthly is $286.74. Is the CPP deduction is $36.25. The EI deduction is $99.37. So the total deduction from the monthly 
um, earning of $2,240 is $371.91. So $371.91 will be deducted from the person's monthly earning and what the person will take home eventually will be $1,868.09. This is an estimate figure that I'm giving, but that's dependent on the factors. If the person is paying union dues, um, the union dues can also reduce how much the person or increase how much the person might take home uh, eventually. But from $2,240 monthly income, gross monthly income, what the person is taking home is $1,868 net. That's what the person will take home. Now, if the man has a wife and two children, how will the man survive on this minimum wage in Ontario? If the person is living in Toronto, if you watch my video on the cost of living in Toronto, you'll be able to see what it's like and what to expect. So based on this figure, let's say the person is living in Mississauga and um, he has a wife, he has two children. He, it means he has to rent a two-bedroom apartment and a two-bedroom apartment in Mississauga is going for $1,700. And remember, this person is um, earning minimum wage. So he's going to pay is any minimum wage which means that his net take home pay is $1868 and if he has to rent a two bedroom apartment in Mississauga which is an outskirts which is an outskirts uh, I won't say an outskirts it's close to Toronto Toronto Ontario is a very developed province so he's taking home $1868 as a monthly net income and then he has to pay a rent of $1,700. So somebody is earning minimum wage and the monthly take home for the minimum wage is $1,868. If you deduct how much the person will pay for rent, a two bedroom apartment rent in Mississauga goes for $1,700. What is left in that person's pocket at the end of the day is just, um, it's just about $150 or $160 um, after paying rent. That means the person just has $160 or $170 in his pocket to, you know, to feed, to pay transport, to pay other bills like internet, uh, to pay utility bills if the apartment does not come with utility, and also to pay for daycare. And the expense of daycare is $1,152. So you now start asking yourself, how will the person survive with a minimum wage in Ontario? These are the questions you need to ask yourself before you even think of choosing a province to land. If you choose a province to land, the first thing you should be asking yourself is, if you don't get a job in your field, you are likely to pick up any job. And picking up any job means you're picking up a minimum, a minimum wage job. And you're picking up a minimum wage job means you might likely not be able to survive on a minimum wage job. So for people with families, they, are, they can survive because they get what, they call, what you call Canada Child Benefit from the government. So if a family with two kids, the government of Canada is paying the family, let's say $1,000 or $1,200, and add that money to the net income he earns from his minimum wage, which is um, $1,868. So $1,868 plus $1,000 or $1,100 from the federal government, the person is getting $2,868 per month. And then deduct $1,700 from rent and then the other, um, the balance, you can be able to survive on it and manage yourself until you get something, until you get a job that is better than the minimum wage. So for people who are already in the process of coming to Canada and planning to land in Ontario or in Toronto, uh, because of the jobs or because of any other reason um, Please put this at the back of your mind that if you don't get the job you desire to get you might likely end up doing a minimum wage job and This is what this is a picture of what you are likely to earn as a minimum wage worker and At the end of the day uh, You might be struggling financially to pay your bills although the government can subsidize in terms of if you have children you can get the Canada Child Benefit from the government. The government can help you with that. 
but you might be finding yourself struggling financially so uh this is the information i want to share and um i hope this information is useful for people who plan to come to canada or people who plan to land in ontario so that you can plan ahead and save as much funds as you can um, so that you can live comfortably and not be under so much stress and um, doing two jobs working 16 hours just to pay the bills so this is um, this is the information i would like to share and i hope it's useful to anybody that finds it thank you so much for watching and have a good day bye bye